Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media Microsoft Flight Simulator hoping that you have been able to successfully launch your program this is the main menu where you will be seeing your programs and here is the flight training program which is the best place to start so we're going to click on this and in this presentation i am going to play with the mouse and keyboard controls to get the hang of uh, what a cessna 152 looks like how it responds and how we can change some things to get the desired result let's see if i clicked on this correctly traffic pattern okay basic controls we're going to go to basic controls okay now it's going to start here it's telling us where it's starting from what's the destination but basically we will be in air most of the time trying to use various uh, mouse and keyboard uh, shortcuts to see how we can manipulate the plane's uh, altitude speed direction and how to look at all different uh, areas so let's see okay let's begin the flight here there we go all right it's loading up the program and here it's showing all this uh, aileron flaps rudder and elevator which i think uh, you will learn as you get more familiar with the program and once uh, the plane is in air we will see what we can learn boy this flight simulator takes long time to get off the ground I mean, I have a i7 with 16 gigabyte uh, memory and a pretty good uh, NVIDIA graphic card. But I guess we just have to wait for it to load. I mean, let's face it, for a 30 minute flight, it takes 30 minutes to get from the gate to the runway. So you can wait another minute. It's, it's no big deal. Hey, come on. How long are you taking here? Let's get on with it. Calm down, man. Calm down. I know you want to get on the road. Well, it's trying to explain to you all these different things, what the, the, the yoke does and what this aileron and flaps and rudders and all that. Okay, here is the plane, which is starting now. And it is uh, at 6,400 feet. Ready to fly? Yes, let's go. Ready to fly. Okay, now here we are in the Welcome cockpit. Now Flight we can try different maneuvers. If you hold the wheel and then you turn it, then you can see. As I turn to the left, I can see what's on the left side. Okay, when I release it, it goes back. Anytime you are lost, just press control space bar and it will take you to the position you're supposed to be. Now here, by just moving the mouse backwards, I can see the entire dashboard. If I and any time you want to lock the position, just hit the right key, and you, you can get rid of this uh, yoke by pressing on that and pressing on it again. It will do. And here are the rudder pedals, and here is the throttle which we'll look into. And here we have the the direction as where it's going. You know how many degrees it is uh, pointing towards. And here is the speed, 100 miles. Okay, let me bring it down a little bit. Oh. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility. Okay, now it's ahead. about 100 miles going. Now we are perfectly horizontal. And if you want to turn it, we, I don't know if this will turn. Let's see. Oh, it, it goes away. I, I've not been able to figure out how to use this. But anyway, let's stick on to. Okay, I want to see some more of the this one. I just roll it forwards and I can see where we are going. And here you see this, oh, hold on. See, every time you move to a new position, you have to make sure you press right mouse key, right mouse key to lock that position. Here you see a little triangle which has more options that you can use. And uh, let's see what else we can do here. And this is the throttle I said, the, the control which mixes the air and gas. And just watch what happens. As I push it more, it changes the speed 
and as you drag it back oh man I hope it doesn't fall off the sky here let's give some more gas here and as we pump more gas and air mixture you get the desired uh, speed this will help you to get the plane in the right direction if you want the plane to go up all you do is uh, just uh, do it like this pull it with your mouse backwards and you can see it is angled upwards and if you want to look on the right side just hold the wheel and just uh, rotate it to the other side then you can see what you are seeing on the right side uh, similarly you can sort of uh, make a circular movement to see where all the things are in front of you by just moving the mouse with the wheel compressed as you can see so if you feel like you are lost then again go to control and space board now it is in the right position uh, whereas if you want to if it goes like this uh, and you can also roll the wheel back so that you can see more of the cockpit if you want to look at the controls more closely you can lock this and then press the right key and it will lock that one and of course here we have the clock here it tells you your horizontal level that's the speed and of course uh, this is uh, the turn signal and there are other things this is actually telling what direction you're going south uh, close to like uh, 210 degrees we have visibility over Sedona all right and here are the radio controls which can be controlled entered uh, this is the vertical speed it's telling you and this is the altitude so th there are certain things here they say for a quick view of the outside uh, hold control left or control right so hold control left What I'll do is just uh, hold the wheel and just push it forward so that the nose will go down and you can see more of the ambience and every time you do you have to lock it with the right mouse and let's say I want to press this one and bring it to look on the left side by moving the mouse towards the left with the wheel pressed and then leave it and then lock it so lock it with the right mouse clicked if you want to re go back to the position here and you can do this to the other side and lock this position with the right mouse so it's locked and you want to come back to the original position Outside here and you see here. so these are some of the the simple stuffs which we can use by using the mouse so hopefully next time you and I can learn more about using mouse and of course short keyboard shortcuts see even the keyboard for example I press the up arrow and this is what happened if I use the down arrow so that's uh, going up if I press the left arrow and I can see the left side of the cockpit if I press the right arrow now I can see the right side and I can bring it down so the the arrow keys on the keyboard helps so the best way to work on this is to press every key uh, don't worry it's not going to fall off <laughs> press every key and see what it does for example I press F1 nothing F2 nothing F3 nothing F4 5 6 7 8 happened here F10 something happened okay F11 gives you this particular view where you can see the cockpit view or the front F12 I don't know then letters oh Q will there you go Q will show you on the left side W nothing E nothing R nothing T this is where you experiment because the plane is sort of just going to be flying this is a test mode so here you can see little circle there I don't know what it means Y U I T and if you are last 
press control and space bar and you are back to where you are use your wheel to navigate uh, through the various locations of this the plane i think uh, this should be good enough for uh, today's lesson let's meet again and learn more together about Cessna 152 using the mouse and once you get used to the mouse then when you get the yoke and the the gearbox then you you will be like a pro see you next time please do subscribe to our youtube channel